Hello everyone, Dafton here again, and in this video we are going to finish up our mod, export the FMDL and make a Megabyte archive that is ready for Snakebyte installation. Let's begin. So, back in Unity, we still have Ishmael here. Before we can export him as an FMDL, we need to come here to FMDL Studio and generate the bounding boxes. Bounding boxes always should look something like this. If they are not like this, then something is messed up and uh, the model will not work. Okay. After this, we can just click on FMDL Studio and export FMDL. Just put it somewhere for the time being. And, uh, okay. This place, not mods, sorry. But okay, mods. This, this is going to be a good place for him. His name can be whatever. We will uh, rename the FMDL later. Alright, so click on save. Okay, it is saving now. Check the console. Okay, it is a successful save. Everything is okay. Everything is alright. Do not close Unity just yet. Okay, so now we need to make sure to uh, have the FMDL in the correct place before we're going to make a Megabyte archive. And uh, for this, we're going to use Five Monoliths Five Profiliator. Five Profiliator will allow us. Thank you, Windows. So Five Profiliator will allow us to uh, copy all instances of a file from the unpacked archives. So we don't have to track down each of them every time. What we are going to do now, and I think it's better if I demonstrate, is to browse for the original Ishmael file. So we come back to Unpacked Files, Asset, TPP, Characters, going to find Ishmael, so H, I, Ish, there he is, Scenes. And here is the FMDL file. This is what we want to replace with our custom model. This is the model file. Okay, click on it, click on Open. Output folder is where the file profiliator will copy the structure for us. So for this, we're going to come back to mods, and let's make an install directory. So right click, new, new folder, and I will just name it install. Okay, here in the output folder, we come back again, mods, install, select folder. Okay, and now we're gonna say uh, build, direct, uh, build directory structure. This is now going to copy all instances of Ishmael's FMDL. So all we have to do now after it's done is to replace it. So here is our custom model Ishmael 0 main 0 def clean face. So just right click, copy, going to install and as you can see it already made it for us. Asset TPP, pack, mission 2, story. This is basically the hospital scene. And it also opened up the FPK for us. So that's one step that uh, we don't have to take anymore. Okay, and here is he. Here is Ishmael. Okay, just right click. Passed over. Okay. So we are going to copy his name. The original model's name. We can now delete the original model and rename our custom model to have the same name as the original model so the game will load it. Okay, cool. So the model is in place, but the textures are not yet. So you can ask, what about the textures? So this is why we didn't close Unity. We come back to Unity, and Unity also has an asset folder. Unity's asset folder can be used to mimic TPP's asset folder. So whenever a model is loading a texture from here, uh, the material, it's better if I show you, so again, select the code. Yeah, I just accidentally made it, okay, this is not what I uh, wanted to do. So if I click on select, you can see that it's uh, highlighted in orange. This is where it loads from. So asset TPP Ishmael new texture Ishmael zero where zero dev BSM. 
we need to have this uh, structure too in our mod folder because our custom uh, model is looking uh, at this file path for this texture. What we are going to do now is to show in Explorer here Ishmael new texture. We are going to select just the texture file. Don't be intimidated, I made these FTX uh, prematurely, but that should not uh, be a problem. Okay, so select the DDS file and copy. And also remember the file structure. So now we are coming to the install directory. So this is our mod install directory. This is our Unity package directory. Let's copy it. So inside asset there is TPP. Inside TPP there is Ishmael new texture. So we are just going to make a new folder called ish new texture. Perfect. We are going to put the DDS file here. And um, if you remember, we used FTEX to make FTEX files from DDS files. So open it with FTEX. There it is, FTEX tool. It's, uh, I believe, in video 1 or 2 where I talk about this. Yeah, it's on the second one because the first one is about Snakebite. Okay. Bang. It made the FTEX files for us. You can leave the DDS file here if you wish, it's not mandatory because uh, Makebyte will not pack it. And while we're still in the custom textures story, I should tell you that uh, if you have a custom texture here, but you do not, but you do not have this custom texture with this uh, directory structure inside your texture folder, then if you load up the custom model, As you can see, it will be missing the textures. Because the custom model now looks for this file path, so asset TPP Ishmael new texture, inside. Oh, sorry. So it's looking for it inside converted textures. So it is looking uh, in the directory that you set up for your FMDS Studio texture folder. So. This is, uh, this is something that should not cause any problems again, but if you wish it uh, to have it display, you should always update the uh, texture folder with whatever uh, new textures have here. So basically just copy the DDS file with the same structure into the texture folder. I'm going to do it for you. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have convert the textures first. And mod tutorial asset TPP Ishmael new texture. Okay, so converted textures asset TPP Ishmael new texture. Copy, paste. Cool. And I'm going to delete the files that are not needed. These ones. Okay, so only the DDS file. Let's close these two windows. Let's close file profiliator, we don't need it anymore. Let's jump back to Unity. Let's delete Ishmael once again. And we are going to re-import Ishmael, the custom model that we exported in FMDL. As you can see, voila, it works. Yeah, I'm just noticing some mistakes that we made. Yeah, we cannot find one texture. That should not be a problem now, because it's only a demonstration. Okay, so we can now close Unity. Let's save. Okay, and now we are going to use MakeBind to install our mod. But first let's see if everything is in order in our mod directory. So mods, install. Let me enlarge it. Okay, asset tpp pack mission to story Schmal scene okay it's here jump back to asset ppp Schmal textures are here too I'm just going to leave the DDS here as a demonstration that you will see that Makebyte will not pick it up okay so Snakebyte came with another software called Makebyte it's part of it so to access it first 
ready to come where it is uh, installed. And here is MakeBytes. Let's open MakeBytes. Okay, so we can give a name to our mod that we will show up in SnakeBite. Let's call it Ishmael. Pajamas. Okay, the daughter, the author, sorry, sorry, not daughter, <laughs> author will be me. It's version 1.1. Mod description is just this is a test mod. Cool. And now we can browse for the mod files. So it was inside mods, install folder. Only select install folder. So like this. Don't click on asset, just like this. And as you can see, oh sorry. If I click on install. Okay, like this. So, asset TPP, which will new textures. Asset TPP, pack mission story. Cool. But if you are not sure, whatever you uh, need to click on asset TPP or uh, whatever else, you can always just download the mod and check it. So, let's say I have some finished mods actually. So, E. Mode tutorial finished. Quite boss Eva. Yeah, and it's asset. Okay, this is just to make sure. So now, if everything is in order, let's click on do it. And we are going to put it here. And the file name should be Ishpajan. Wonderful. So let's open it. Yeah, it's good. Asset. Just like in my previous mod. So yeah, you can always use uh, other mods to make sure that everything you are doing is in order. Okay, so one thing about .mgs5 uh, archives is that these are uh, similar archives to zips or rars, so you can easily access them anytime. Okay, we are not going to need make byte anymore, so we can go on and close it. Here is Snakebite. Open Snakebite. Go to mods. As you can see, we already have Infinite that haven't installed from the previous one. So install another MGS5 mod. Here is Ishmael Pajamas. Yeah, here is everything that we filled up the form. Cool. I'm gonna continue installation. Following mods will be installed. Okay. So I reckon that most of you are already familiar with how to uh, install with Snakebite, but for the sake of clarity we are going to install it and launch the game and see uh, how it works. So basically uh, the mod itself is finished. We will see how it behaves in game. So uh, we will have a little bit of footage of that. And uh, well, I don't know if should I mute myself or not, but I think I will keep up the commentary. Okay, so launch the game. Wait till Steam connects. And now again, everything is depending on my CPU power and HDD. Alright, it is loading. Connecting to Konami's famous servers. Okay, I kept the game audio muted. Basically, any desktop audio is muted. Because of the microphone setup I have. If you can call it the microphone setup. <laughs> okay, it's still loading. Alright, cool. So, with Infinite Heaven, we make sure that we will come back to the main menu. If you uh, hold uh, down the escape button here, Infinite Heaven 
will make sure that you will return to the ACC on, uh, after the Fox logo uh, or sorry Kojima Productions logo flashes you can be sure that you will be in the ACC okay so we know that Ishmael appears in the hospital scene for that we need to replay the mission Hopefully he will show up just as ridiculous as he was in Unity. Keep that in mind that uh, there can be issues that are only visible once we are in game. So uh, I'm really curious whether or not his eyes will be good or not. Okay, this uh, long-winded intro cinematic, everybody's favorite. I'm sure everybody is replaying this all the time. It was really ingenious to do it. Okay, it's fun for first three times, but that's it. Okay, we're going to really to, to our doctor and nurses. I'm going to skip it. Okay, look up please. Famous lines. Very good. Cool. So we keep being Ahab. We keep my name day. Go on. Yeah. We were in coma for quite some time. Thank you for asking us how we feel. We feel it really good. We're you feeling excited. Skip again. Keep it like this. Okay. And now we shall see. While well, Quiet is doing her job, hugging everybody to death. And soon our hero should appear. I too like uh, action movies, especially B-movies. <laughs> okay, the one thing about bad guys is that they always take too long to pull the trigger. We all knew that. And three, two, one, oh! Something is not right about the textures, but as you can see, his face doesn't have the bandages. So I have an explanation for this actually. Uh, I'm sure that there is an external file f uh, file called fv2 that is uh, overwriting the textures for Ishmael. But that doesn't mean that uh, our texture will never show up. So we are going to skip this scene because maybe it's uh, for only this scene that this fv2 is active. No, for the other scene too. Hmm, okay. This is, well, sort of unexpected. But I will keep this in the video because uh, MGS5 modding is often producing unexpected re results, so it needs a lot of testing. But as you see, the model editing itself worked. He is not freaking out, the bones are good. Yeah. We did not uh, put in any work. For the bones, for that matter. But yeah, it's working. Okay, I will stop here. And um, we'll make sure that for the custom texture pass, there will be another tutorial. Because uh, there is much discussed about textures too. What is uh, the sRGB, the normal map, and so on and so forth. Okay. I'm going to hop back to OBS and. Uh, well, thank you for your attention. Uh, we will continue this series later on. And happy modding!